This is the story of the gap baby. Like most young children, this baby encounters what's known as respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. It's a common virus with flu-like symptoms that most babies get before age two. But while many children come through RSV unharmed, this baby struggles. You see, she was born premature at only 31 weeks gestation. Her lungs are underdeveloped and her immune system is fragile. For babies like her, RSV can be deadly. Those who do survive can face complications later, such as childhood asthma or recurrent wheezing. Preventative treatment, known as palivizumab, can help babies fight off RSV. Most health plans cover the treatment for severely premature infants. And term infants may be able to fight off the virus on their own. But that leaves this baby and others born between 29 and 36 weeks in a coverage gap. Ideally, the Gap Baby's mother or father could leave work to stay home with her. They could practice vigorous hand washing, avoid public places like the grocery store, and kindly turn away visitors to keep their baby protected. But for many Gap Babies, that's just not possible. The baby must go along on daily errands or perhaps spend her days at daycare while both parents work. Despite her parents' best intentions, the baby contracts RSV. Now she must return to the neonatal or pediatric intensive care unit. Hospital care creates additional costs, and the setback is emotionally devastating for her parents, who already spent several weeks at the NICU when she was born. They must take days off of work, even sacrifice wages to be at her side. They face transportation and other challenges, and must call upon family or friends to help care for older siblings, all because of the coverage gap. Many RSV gap babies exist in the United States, and because more premature babies are born to African American, Hispanic, or low-income mothers, the disease can compound health care disparities. Until policy allows preemies to access preventative RSV treatment, the gap baby story will continue, and these infants and their families will continue to suffer.